the hell's going on? Who are you people? Think of us as... Filmmakers. And... We're making a movie. Well... More of a tribute. A tribute to a great man. A fearless man. A man who showed the nobodies of this town that they can have something. Something from nothing. And we would love for you to be a part of this tribute, officer. So, we shall ask again. Tell the viewers your name. Why? Why would you do this? Why me? What did I ever do to you? That was a little overly emotional. Look, I know we're trying to make a respectable film, but we're not shooting for an Oscar here or anything. Just a little less emotional. Feel that fear. But I find it a little weird I have to ask you three times. Your name, officer. Fuck you. <sighs> what I tell you guys, it lies to the director to do everything. Your name is Carl Bolton, homicide detective. Have been for about 20 years. You're good. Never met a case without a conviction. There's about a hundred killers currently sitting in prison because of you. However, there was one case that always stumped you. The disappearance of your partner. You two were close put away about 50 of those killers together. And one day she just disappeared. And then, the chief of police, and five other detectives. And before you know it, every cop in the city but you was missing. Sorry, Carl, but you won't find them. You're the last cop in this town. But, now, we're about to have a town without cops. A town with no rules. Free to finish our production. Thank you for your services, Carl. Now, you get to be the first big death of the film. Emma? Are you doing okay? You haven't been talking much lately. Did you see the news? No. You know I don't watch the news. It depresses me. Why? What happened? With the disappearance of all police in Woodsboro, mass panic has gripped the town. And unfortunately, the kidnappers have made their next move in the form of a video message. We are going to play it in hopes that it leads to their arrest. But we warn viewers, the image is disturbing. Um, are we rolling? Yeah, we're rolling. No oh, shit! <sighs> Hello, Woodsboro. We are the cult of Ghostface. Your town has forgotten someone. Forgotten someone very important to your town's history. A man by the name of Danny Johnson. A man who was spat on by your community. But he didn't take it to heart. He took it to your hearts. And by that I mean... He drove a knife into it. He was the original ghost face. And he's inspired us. He will be proud of us. We are continuing his legacy. We could be anywhere. We could be your next door neighbor. We could be your spouse. We could be your best friend. No one is safe. And before you try calling the cops, 
I wouldn't do that if I were you. They're all dead. So, Woodsboro, let the purge begin. You're more than welcome to join us. Might be your only way to survive. Cult of Ghostface out. Oh my god. Emma, I'm sorry. But we'll get through this. You've done this before, right? It never lasts longer than a night. It's gonna be fine. Rowan. Danny Johnson killed my best friend when I was 18. He got what he deserved, though. He tried to get another victim. And then I put a knife in his face. He fell to the floor, dead. I was put under house arrest. Did my two years. Got out. While I was under house arrest... Another ghost face tried to kill me. This cult's been going for almost eight years. I don't know who that kid was. I didn't care. And I still don't care. Because he's dead too. And every single one of these kids, they're gonna die too. How can you emulate that fucking monster? All the lives he took, just because no one noticed him growing up. Rowan, you don't understand. I'm not scared. I'm angry. Get him in the car and take him to the set. But don't hurt him. He's more important than you know. <laughs> Shut up, kid. So, I got some questions for you. First off, how long has your fucking cult been stalking me? We like to keep tabs on all of our old members. Especially when they've killed two of our leaders. We've always been watching you, Emma. It's just now, it's the right time to strike. I was never a member of your little Danny Johnson boner cult. So what's the end game here? Danny Johnson's dead. He's never going to see what you've done. So, what's the point in all this shit? The point is that if Danny can't see it, then the whole world needs to see it. You've all forgotten him. That's not the legacy he would have wanted. But we're going to give him that legacy. Emma, you've forgotten your past. It's our job to remind you. And you've forgotten that without that mask, you're just a kid in a costume. No. You. Your face. You look just like him. He's. He's dead! What the hell? Plastic surgery. Part of the initiation. To be in the cult, you must resemble the most perfect form that ever was. You're insane! Where did you take my husband? Relax. That's why I stay behind. To tell you. We need you for the big finale. There's a warehouse not far from here. Go there. You'll find your husband. But you'll also find what you've been looking for all your life. Huh. Thanks, kid. Now, I'm gonna give you what you want. Say hi to Danny for me. Let him know that I hope he's burning in hell.
What the hell? What are you doing to these people? Initiation. The plastic surgery is... painful. We're not exactly trained doctors. So we give them a... pretty high dose of anesthetic. You know. Give us all the time we need. They're just sleeping it off. When they wake up, the bandages will come off, and they'll be perfect. Sounds like your wife's here. Good. It's time for the grand finale, Rowan. <laughs> Part of this? Of course you are. There's always a fucking twist, isn't there? Of course there has to be. A big twist always makes for a better film. As people rewatching, picking out the clues so they can see it coming. But it's always just as much of a shock. But no, this isn't the twist. The twist is Emma. We've always been the heroes of the story. And you've always been the villain. Every time there's a ghost face, what do you do? You kill them. Danny Johnson, the kid was suffering. He was an orphan, horrific background. His killings were a cry for help. But what did you do? You acted like you would be his friend. And then you throw a knife at his face. And what about... What about the second time? One of our members? One of our younger members? He didn't kill anyone. And you still killed him. Face it, Emma. You're Ghostface. Not any of us. Danny Johnson is the victim. You're the killer. What does Danny Johnson even mean to you, Rowan? I mean, you fucking married me. Why would you do that if you hate me? It was all part of the plan, Emma. I married you. So that when this moment came, you would hurt. The way you made me hurt. My name isn't Rowan Smith. It's Rowan Johnson. You killed my brother. What? No. No. You're making this shit up, Rowan. Danny Johnson didn't have a family. His dad was dead and his mom disowned him. He never had a brother. We always had our differences. He never really liked to talk about me. But he was my little brother. I always had his back. After Dad died, Mom couldn't handle us both. So she got rid of him. She thought he was a bad kid. No. Dad's death hit him hard. And disowning him? That was just another kick in the balls that Mom gave him. It wasn't fair. I ran away from home. The bitch got what she deserved. If she couldn't handle both of us, then she didn't deserve one of us. I never found him. I didn't find him until after he died. After I saw the news, saw that you killed him. Started up this cult in his name. After the legend he created. So that finally, my brother's killer the true destroyer of my family would be dying in a pool of blood the same.